uh, uh, we've returned to the Ant the Ampton in uh, JFK, and I'm at uh, room twelve one five on the twelfth floor, Ampton in JFK, and I'm on the amazing five by twelve matrix. It's truly amazing of the multi-dimensional application this uh, five by twelve uh, matrix has, and. I have deviated a little from the economic uh, generation of the uh, sewers like sand generation and the DLS, dollar sewers like sand generation, which was uh, in other instances, describers uh, exponential series and endless possibilities and billion, billions, trillions and quadrillions uh, of uh, sewers uh, generated in the economic uh, configuration. Uh, and its application in the STEM, the science, uh, teaching, technology, engineering, and medicine, and music. Uh, right now, I'm demonstrating now uh, circuit analysis by the mesh. This uh, is enhancing uh, solutions uh, via the uh, mesh analysis. And we're using the, the four by four period matrix, which is, uh, were integral in the, the, the PDM process. So we have found out that delta is equal to 1368 from this basic configuration for which we have uh, uh, put in the elements via inspection from this simple uh, thing. Now things can become more intricate because even in our PDM processing, we, we found some very large dual period numbers. And if we put them in here and find the determinant, it would take a, lo a long time, really. Uh, nevertheless, life is intricate and life is difficult. So that's a real, in real situation, life is not as easy as this. But in order to simplify our calculations here, we have uh, come up with this uh, easy uh, model. So we have found delta, which is the determinant of this four by four period matrix. Usually I could put in zero, 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 zero like oh, this one has a 12 to maintain the duality in the numerics, but we're going to make it stay like that. And we found we're using that absolute value of the elements, but the real values, which takes on this configuration, pluses and minuses alternatively, uh, which can be calculated. It's not just plus and minus, but I will show you that if one and one is two, then two is even, then this takes on a plus. Two and one is three, it's uneven, takes on a negative. All even subscript takes on positive, and all uneven takes on negative. So if you had four and two, you're six. Six is even, positive. All right, so we're going to put now that, uh, find the voltage values here now. So we'll say V1, the voltage for mesh one, would be 240. This is just an uh, example that I put a 240 volt, which would be some voltage in, in uh, normal household. And 480 would be a little bit higher for household. Uh, define these uh, magnitude in, say, elevators, uh, horizontal escalators, 960 volts and all that. All right, but I just put these voltage from my head. V1. Uh, so we see negative to positive is uh, 240 plus, and you come around here in this mesh, and this is 480 volts, and this is coming from positive to negative, so this is a, a negative. So we have 240 minus 480, and that's make it to minus 240 volts. V2, the voltage in mesh 2, will be this, 480 and 600 volts. So it's going from negative uh, 480, plus 480, and coming around, so it'll be 480 minus 600. 480 minus 600, that's equal to what? 180? 120 volts, negative, and V3, will be just 500 volts here. This is value. And V4 
will be negative 500 degrees minus 500 degrees. This is the positive, and that's negative. And so we use Kirchhoff Putsch's law, Ohm's law, and we signal that what? V is equal to Ri. V equals Ri. Or R is equal to V. Let's see how we should put it here. R I equals V. Alright, so put R I equals V, which is the setting. V equals R I, R I equals V. So what we have here now is that 12 minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 5, minus 4, 0, minus 4. 7, which were putting this by inspection from a 4x4 four four mesh here, yeah? and the i's would be unknown i1, i2, i3, and i4. I assume i1 was going in the positive clockwise direction, i2 likewise in the positive clockwise direction, mesh 2, mesh 3, m3, i3. And for mesh 4, I4, M4. And this will be equal now to the voltage values here. We count our V1 as a minus 240. V2 as minus 120. V3 as 500. And minus 500. And we say now that uh, this is setting us in V R I is equal to V. R I equals V or V is equal to R I. Corruption of voltage law, corruption of current law, and all of that jazz. Holmes law. We're using those three laws. Alright, so here we go now. We're going to solve this now. So we say now that N1, the, the numerator value, N1 for I1 is equal now to, by replacing the first column by the voltage value, which is the determinant now. So we place it here. So we get now that minus 240, minus 120, 500, and minus 500. This is minus two six zero 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 five and minus four and zero zero minus four and seven. So that's equal to the number the, the numerator value n. And so we find the determinant of this for one column. And that will give us the numerator value. So we have solved these three by threes already. So uh, this is now four by four. So we're going to reduce it to the three by three, and then assume that we already solved the three by three down to the very finest details. So we won't need to solve it, but that, that we we'll probably have some matrix program or matrix calculator that can. We plug in the value of the elements and we get the solution uh, to the problem. Nevertheless, here's it know that I1 will be equals now to N I1 over delta. Likewise, I2 will be equals to N I2 over delta. Delta will be the same, we calculate to be 1360. I3 will be equals to N. 3 over delta and I4 be equals to N delta. Delta in each case is equal to the determinant of this uh, 4 by 4 and we calculate to be equal to 1368. So we're going to go now, we're going to find I1 by calculating uh, this. Uh, determinant here.
And so we take a break and we come back and we find I1, I2, and I3, and I4. By replacing, uh, for NI2, we replace the second column by the voltage value. For NI3, we replace the third column by the voltage value. And for NI4, we replace the fourth column by the voltage value. So we take a break and we come back and we find the currents.